Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. I recently had a reader ask me how to change his controller type inside of RS Logix Micro or RS Logix 500 for a Micrologix. It's a little different for the Micrologix. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. I'm going to go offline here. I'm online with a uh, Micro 1400 and I'm going to go down here to IO configuration. And you can see here's the base unit right here. I'm going to double click on the base and this is where you can specify an exact base. Now you can see mine was set for any base and it was working, right? But if you wanted to specify a specific base, that's how you could do that here. And so that's pretty easy. Now you can use RS Logix 500 or RS Logix Micro, or if you have a 1000 or 1100, you could use RS Logix Micro Starter Lite, which is free, as well as the emulator. And if you want to know how to get that, check out season three, episode six. But with that said, that's how easy it is to change the MicroLogic style or base that you're using with your project. Now, if you'd like to help me make more free videos like this one, then check out my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And if you'd like to learn how to program the MicroLogic's family of programmable controllers, check out my PLC course over at theautomationschool.com. It's PLC Basics Second Edition, and I cover you know, the Micrologix 1000, 1100, soup to nuts. I cover all kinds of different programming uh, topics. You can see everything over at theautomationschool.com. And if you'd like to save a little money on that course, use this code. This is my automation blog code to save you 20%. T-A-B-20. That's the discount code. You put it right in there. You'll save 20% on any of my courses, really. So with that said, thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.